Hello everyone, welcome to the chapter function. So I'll be explaining the function definitions in Python. So basically, whenever you wanted to write a group of statement which is repeatedly required in your code, then it is not recommended to write this statement every time separately. So basically what we are doing, we are just following dry principle. Dry, dry is nothing but do not repeat yourself. Right? So whenever you are using programming language, so if few set of lines are repeated multiple times in your code it is a standard practice to create a function and make it use of that function by calling it separately right the main advantage is code reusability another language is functions are also known as method procedures subroutines etc there are two types of functions basically python were in wind in functions so these are predefined that we have already seen in different chapters wherein we are using id type, input, pal, even we are using print and all of those other functions. These are inbuilt functions in Python. We are also having user defined functions that are nothing but developed by programmer according to the business requirements. The syntax is the EF keyword followed by the name of function and then there are parameters, right? And then colon, right? So here you can write a doc string, your code and then Either you can return the value or if not, you can print the value. So basically, this is a function definition. So doc string that we have already seen multiple lines of strings, which will tell what this function is all about. And these are the code of line and then return value. So basically, whenever I was talking about this parameter, there are different types of function arguments that we can pass. What is positional, named, default and variable length. What is positional argument? For example, I have defined a sum function with two values as its parameter that is a comma b and there is one more variable with total who is just adding all a plus b and i am returning the value total so now whenever i am i wanted to call this function i need to create identifier or an object of function i am just giving the value as n and i am calling this function right but now it has two arguments a and b so i need to give certain inputs for example I have given two values 10 comma 20 what will happen this will 10 plus 20 will be given to total right and that total will be 30 and that 30 value we are returning so that means that 30 value will be returned back to n and whenever you are printing n you will get 30 as your output but instead after that this is your final output whenever you are printing that value but you are also printing two outputs that is value which you are given as inputs right so since whatever you are passing it is taking as a and whatever you are passing second it is taking as a b this is called as positional arguments similar way if at all you are telling b is pi over a is 6 that means whenever you are calling the functions here so it will be given a 6 and b 5 and then instead of a plus b which was earlier 5 plus 6 it will be 6 plus 5 that is 11 which will be printed third one will be default arguments so now when you are passing these two values but while defining a function you are seeing b is 0 so irrespective of you provide b value as 8 or even if at all you do not want it to provide you can just simply see sum of 6 so this way you are just providing one value that is a but second value if you are not providing it will take it as b and that is zero so that is a default argument and the last one is variable length argument whenever you wanted to apply a different inputs you can always use star which will take there are variable inputs that are passed as parameters to this function so now whenever i am seeing sum of a 10 20 30 and so on so all these inputs i can take it to the functions i can apply for loop and add it to the total and print the outputs so this is the way where um, you can call different function arguments so there are uh, different powerful functions in python that we can use these are really really important functions that you can discuss in your interviews so one of them is lambda function map function filter functions this function enum functions are reduced functions so we'll see one by one what are lambda functions so basically 
uh, when you are you are defining function, you are defining like this params certain things, and then you are returning right. Whatever you wanted to return. So this is again taking more than two to three lines of code. But now this at all you wanted to do a single line the function definition. You can use a lambda function. Now uh, what is the definition of lambda function? It will be lambda and then argument and expression. So basically it will be argument colon expression. Whenever you are calling a lambda function, you should do certain parameters to it. Whatever the parameters you are passing. It will be coming into the arguments that will be passed to the expression, right? So, for example, I have created this lambda x colon triple x x star x star x. That means this is a cube, right? So, whenever I am passing 14 here, so it will see this is a lambda cube variable definition of this lambda function. That is an object. I am passing certain value. Then it's 14. This 14 will be given to x and then 14 into 14 into 14 that is 2744 will be printed as output similar way we have uh, we can find some with the lambda that is a comma b and a plus b so for example we are providing two inputs 100 from a 60 port both of these will be given to this lambda function and output will be taken back to s and 164 will be printed similarly we have math function which is nothing but two so, for example, for every element present in the sequence, we have to apply certain functionality and generate the new element. So, for example, we have this list and now we wanted to double each element of the list. What we can do in general way, we can apply for loop or i in l and then I can say for of i of l is equal to 2 times l of i, right? So, and then I, sh I should append it. So, this is another formal way but if at all I wanted to use math function I can do is this is a lambda expression which is telling what are the input you are passing I am doubling it so to do that what is the math function is doing this expression it is applying to list l list l is having this many values and once this operations is applied to this list l now again with type casting we are converting output to list and saving it to l1 so whatever 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is passed. So whenever 1 is passed, it will be 1 is 2 into 1. Whenever 2 is passed, 2 will be 2 into 2. 3 is passed, 3 into 3 and so on. So all the inputs given will be doubled. That is how max function is used. Third one will be filter function. So whatever the list it is provided, now you wanted to only output the even values out of it. So we know the x mod to equal to equal to 0 this is an expression which will filter out our even values so for that we will use lambda and colon so this is basically lambda x colon and expression comma whatever the list that we wanted this filter to be applied on and then we are using uh, instead of map function we are using filter function here right so this filter function will just filter out the even elements from the list and then print out. So from all 10, 20 and 30, whenever they are divided by 2, reminder is 0. So all these output are filtered out with filter function. Similarly, now we have a reduce function. Now, uh, so to use this reduce function, we have to import func tool. We are importing everything. Start means all method classes and functions are copied or called inside your code. So now this is a normal list and now we are reducing it with a reduce function. So what is the expression? Expression says x comma y colon x plus y means two values are added. So when I am passing list means first two values. The first 10 comma 20 will be added. It will be 30. Second one will be 30 comma 30 will be added. It will be 60. Then 60 comma 40 will be added here. It will be 100 and then 100 comma 50 will be added it will be 150 so all of these values are reduced to single output so that is how a reduce function is used then um, next one is enum function what this enum function will do for example it will help you to track your iterable elements so we have apple grass and oranges now for this is a normal method if i wanted to go and check each element i can do for i in this proofs 
See, for i in this fruit, print i comma fruit. So it will just tell i and fruit i. i means it's index 0 and fruit i means apple. So 0 apple, 1 grapes, 2 orange. This is your output of your first code. Now whenever I am using enumerate function, I can at the moment call index and values together without doing this operation separately. How I can do? For i comma value in enumerate of fruit. So I can generate whenever I am saying enumerate a fruit, it will create this kind of operation, right? So whenever I am printing id, it will print 0. Whenever I am printing name, it will print the value. So 0 apple grabs orange. This way, our enumerate functions is used to track the iterable elements in your indexes. Now, what is zip function? Zip function will just zip two different lists into comma separated tuples. For example, this is apple, grass, oranges, and 180, 17. Now I am doing zip fruit comma price. For i in the results and print i, if I am doing it, will be apple 100 together, grapes 80 together, and orange 70 together. Right? List will be zip together by using zip functions right so we have all the functions these are building functions that we have seen these are user definition functions then also we have this is just an example by creating a function we can use two keyword define is a mandatory return is optional so this is how uh, it is called when you are doing DEF message and I am just calling it with that function name directly since it has print message that message will be printed now with parameters, if I am passing name instead of whenever I am passing or calling the functions, I just have to pass this name. It will be going over here and that will be coming over here inside a print. And there I can print the output. Similar way, there are, are functions with return statement. All the out outputs are returned. So for that, I am passing these two values, doing certain operations, returning these values back to output and printing the output. So output will be printed. And these all arguments and its uh, definition that we have seen. Uh, after that, we have also seen variable length arguments. Then these are the different lambda functions, printer functions, map function, reduce function, and zip function that we have seen. And last one is enumerate functions. So these are the all most important functions which are there in Python, which are useful to reduce your code repeatability. So dry principles will be followed. And that's why function is one of the most important topics in Python basic. We will see in the next chapter with the modules and packages.